superhero effects are probably the most exciting ones of all. Even when every other YouTube creator has already made the Thanos disintegration effect, you guys kept asking us to make it as well. And so, we did. Darty! From flying through a city to even being part of the Avengers Endgame, we have been everywhere. Even the Flash could not escape me. That was, by the way, entirely made in Premiere Pro. Don't ask me why. Luckily, today is about Adobe After Effects, and we're gonna take over the superpower of Black Panther, which is just being super strong and having an amazing agility. Is he the strongest superhero? Anyways, we're gonna jump over a car today, just like Black Panther did in the movie Black Panther. I don't know yet how, I don't know yet when, heck, I don't even know who. Okay, it's gonna be me right now and my two Via Vix dudes probably know how. I'm Yellow Tiger. <laughs> so we got a brand new production cart. This is an upgrade from our IKEA cart because we want to have it. And it even comes with a cup holder. How cool is that? Our IKEA cart didn't have that. Very true. Today we're actually going to create three different effects for that one final result and the first one is going to be the actual lift off in the air and for that you want to shoot off a tripod or like we're doing from a jib. You don't need this by the way guys, you can just set up a normal tripod with a normal camera as well. Now in the shot we have our car and behind the car sits a trampoline. That is very important that you hide that trampoline and you're gonna start off with just a simple empty shot of that. After that empty shot you want to drive out the car and do the actual jump on the trampoline. And that's it. And now over to you, Janik. The first thing we will be doing is placing our shots into a new composition. Our empty shot goes on the bottom, then the shot of our talent, and on top of everything, the car shot. And on that last shot, we will mask out the car with a simple static mask. This will reveal our talent, and on that clip, we will look for a point where our talent starts their jump, and here we make a cut. On the clip behind the cut, we will rotoscope our talent, and we will do this as far as he jumps. So that means you can end the rotoscoping at the moment he lands. Now, it's actually just a position animation for the rotoscope talent. We want to animate them so they go off screen, but we also want to keep the correct physics in mind. So they can go fast or slow and they can go in a straight line. Make the pad a little bit curved and make them accelerate over time. Enable motion blur and voila, the jump is done. If you could be one Marvel superhero, which one would you be? Let us know in the comments. I think I would be... Batman. <laughs> But actually, you can be every superhero that you want with Storyblocks, the sponsor of today's video. One that the Scarlet Witch will hold no secrets for you anymore with all the energy footage you can find on Storyblocks. And with your ever-growing library with more than 1 million royalty-free high-quality stock assets, you can create even more superhero effects. Like the teleport effect from Nightcrawler, or maybe you want to travel in style with the portals of Doctor Strange. Everything is possible with Storyblocks. And all these stock assets you can find in HD to 4K resolution, but also various After Effects templates such as this cool Marvel title animation. Of course, some epic music and sound effects for every video and much more. And to top that off, you can download as much assets as you want from the library with the unlimited all access plan. So that means you can create unlimited Marvel effects. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash slash cinecom I'm always thinking what are the neighbors thinking of what we're doing right here. Luckily, it's uh, Bovelof in Belgium. So that means that most of the businesses here are gone or we can do silly stuff outside. For the second effect, we're going to need two different shots. The first one is of our talent standing on a green screen, acting like they are floating around in the air on one leg. When you have that, switch legs and only do that movement for the other leg that was standing still. Later on, we can just merge those two shots together. Your second shot should be the underground flying over the car and that's best done with a drone shot. Now today we've got the LG Dual up attached to our production cart, which has been super useful so far. We can use this extraordinary resolution as a normal monitor, but also as two different inputs. We have a laptop connected on the bottom and we have the camera view on top. And that is all possible because of the many inputs on the back. We have a display port, two HDMIs, a bunch of USBs and even a USB-C upstream port. And we can just swivel that monitor around just the way we want and that is all possible because of the updated ergo stand on the back. 
It's super nice, super cool, and I love the cable management system in this one. Check the link down below, guys, for more information about the LG Dual Up. This drone flyover effect is super easy. Again, we placed our shots into a composition. The drone shot on the bottom, the separate leg movement second, and on top, our floating talent. Then, it's just a matter of pulling a beautiful green key on both the talent shots. Of course, on the separate leg, we will also mask out the leg, and on the other talent clip, the stuff we don't need. Precompose both talent shots, and now we can animate it. In the beginning, we will make our talent smaller, and sit more on the bottom of the screen. Then towards the middle of the jump, we will increase the scale. And on the end of the clip, we will again decrease the scale and move the talent a little bit higher in the framing, giving the feeling that he moved forwards in an arc. And that's it. The last effect is super easy guys, you just film from a tripod or from a jib like we are doing and then you jump in the air and land like a superhero. Superhero landing! Yeah, that's really hard on your knees. As an extra effect, you can let some guys wiggle the car as you land, that way the impact feels more real. <laughs> The last effect, the energy superhero landing. First thing we did was a small time remapping so our talent goes from slow motion to regular speed when he lands. Then we added the new solid layer to our composition. On this solid we added an animated fractal noise and a CC vector blur effect. We also moved our solid layer up so the bottom sits in the middle of our screen. Now duplicate the solid layer and on the top solid we will make the fractal very subtle and for the bottom layer the fractal can be very bright. Next let's pre-compose every solid separately. Then add a CC sphere effect to the top pre-composed layer. Like you can see by placing our solid halfway our screen, we can recreate the feeling of ground contact. You can always fine tune this by going back in the pre-comp. Next we added a purple tint and a glow effect. We used the optical glow effect from Red Giant because we love the irradiate function. Of course we position the sphere effect where we want the energy blast to happen. Then we copy the sphere and the tint effect to paste them to our bottom pre-composed layer. On this we also added a subtle fast box blur effect. Now for the blending modes, the bottom energy Energy blast we will set to screen and the top to classic color dodge. And that's the main principle of the blast. We just added an extra chromatic displacement to the entire shot, fine tune the energy with some masks and of course we can't forget about the wiggle and some extra lens flares. Now, if you enjoyed this video, guys, definitely leave a nice comment down below and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That way you're helping this video in the YouTube algorithm and thus you're supporting the channel. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Story Vlogs, for your support. And as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left for more and I'll see you guys next week.